Okay, we're out here today working on our Bobcat T650. It's reached its 500 hour mark, which is when they recommend to change the oil. So we went out, we've got Shapers, Ultra Performance 1030 weight is what they recommend for the conditions that we put it through. And we made sure that we got uh, one designed for diesel engine oil. You're gonna need your filter. Whatever kind of uh, filter wrench that you got, which has been kind of difficult yeah. to get off, you can get one of the ones with the teeth. Not ideal for putting it back on. I like to use the strap wrench myself. And to get started, you're gonna need a 9 16th socket. Access plate right here at the bottom. So right here you have an access plate. We're gonna remove using our 9 16th wrench to run a drain tube from the bottom of the block to completely drain the motor oil. The drain tube has got a 7 8 cap and you're going to want a uh, vice grip, channel lock, something like that to grip it. And you'll run the tube through the opening. Ratchet. That was actually really easy. And then We actually tilt the machine a little bit backwards to help make sure that all the oil gets out because the way we were sitting, it was kind of at an angle to where there was a chance that there's going to be a little bit left in afterwards. Yeah. Filter wrench. Last time this thing was changed was March 3rd, 2020 at 1287 hours. And I think we're at like 17, 1804 or something like that. Just spin it off quick. Try to catch some of that oil. Got the new filter here. We're going to get it ready by just applying a little bit of the new oil around the ring. That way it helps seat properly. Screw this right back on where the other one was. You want to get it about hand tight. about a quarter turn with the wrench. I want to make sure the funnel's clean. I don't want the dirt and stuff getting in the oil. And then, put the plug back on the drain spout. Make sure that's tightened up. So this right here, the yellow cap, is your oil fill up. And this machine takes about 10 quarts. You want to pour it on hold. Okay, so we got the uh, the drain line tucked up in a way that it's not going to get caught in anything. We got the access plate back on. We got our filter on with the hours and the day marked of when the last time we changed it. That can sometimes prove to be helpful. And anything other than that is just a simple oil change. Good deal. For what it's worth, we are trying to actively grow our YouTube channel. If you'd like to like and subscribe, we would appreciate it. And if you have any comments or feedback of anything that you would like to know or to see or anything about the business that you're curious about, feel free to leave a comment below.